All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So tonight we're talking about the Green Bay Packers. Now, it seems like the NFL fan world, the media world, it seems like people are still kind of split on the Green Bay Packers. And while I will admit uh, some of the logic does make sense, it's just a very young team. In fact, their average age last season was less than 25 years old on the offensive side of things. But for me personally, we saw so much from Jordan Love. We saw so much from so many different players, especially on the offensive side of things that I think Packers fans like myself, we have a completely different view and we have a completely different approach than, you know, like maybe some dude on you know ESPN would have. Uh, the Green Bay Packers, in my opinion, are loaded. They're locked and loaded and obviously the Detroit Lions rightfully so won the NFC North last season and we lost to the San Francisco 49ers in the divisional round of the playoffs but after free agency there's no doubt that this team has improved for the short term and for the long term and the NFL draft is still like a month away and they have so much draft capital it is unbelievable folks the Green Bay Packers this is biased we rarely miss on like round one, round two draft picks. And last year, Goot did a masterclass performance and he's been doing a masterclass performance. But like, folks, um, I saw an article saying, you know, here's a hot take. The the, the Green Bay Packers are not that good and uh, they're not going to do well next season. I saw this and I'm thinking to myself, I would be very surprised. So we're going to talk a little bit about free agency, a little bit about the draft, and obviously revolving around the Green Bay Packers. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. As you guys can tell, I am a Green Bay Packers fan, so we post a ton of Packers videos on this channel. So we can try and get it to 250 likes. That would mean the absolute world to me. Now, when Aaron Jones left Green Bay, that was a huge blow uh, because one hour prior to releasing Aaron Jones, we signed Josh Jacobs. Now, David Bakhtiari is gone. Devondre Campbell is gone. He also had a lot to say on Twitter about former DC Joe Barry telling, you know, he was just tweeting about how you would have to like have private meetings with Matt LaFleur to be more aggressive. If you're a Packers fan, after the Jeff Halfley signing, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video, you're probably ecstatic right now because, you know, the good news is even if Devondre was right, I'm glad he's off the roster because unfortunately due to age, uh, the injuries do seem to be coming up to him. But like, you know, David Bakhtiari since 2020, like three over three years, it's just kind of been this what if. And we still have a first round draft pick. And I would imagine, I think they're going to take the, the tackle out of Duke to just be long term. Uh, but, you know, you got Devondre Campbell, you've got David Bakhtiari, you got Aaron Jones. At first glance, those losses could seem monumental. But if you're a Packers fan, uh, for me personally, the only big loss really was Aaron Jones. But they signed Josh Jacobs to a four year, $48 million contract. And here's the thing because I get it. Um, you know, two years ago, he was an all-pro player. He had over 2,000 yards from scrimmage. He was the league's leading rusher. He put on a masterclass performance, and everybody's worried about kind of his production last year with the Raiders. As I keep saying in every Packers video I make, you know, I've been covering the Raiders for the last three seasons. Like, the issues that Josh Jacobs had were not his fault. It was more because Josh McDaniels and Jimmy Garoppolo couldn't throw a grape in the ocean like they, they it was just an absolute chaotic nightmare but here's the thing um, Aaron Jones was signed for a one-year seven million dollar contract from the Minnesota Vikings technically Josh Jacobs contract this year will only cost 5.3 million dollars one big factor as well I know Josh Jacobs has a lot of mileage on him um, the good news is you re-signed AJ Dillon which completely shocked me that the Green Bay Packers walked away with A.J. Dillon as opposed to Aaron Jones. But Josh Jacobs is 26 years old as opposed to Aaron Jones being 29. Aaron Jones missed a fat chunk of last year's regular season. I think he had five or six consecutive games with 100 plus yards to end the season. So like, you know, we know Aaron Jones is this dynamic, versatile playmaker, uh, but so is Josh Jacobs. And once again, uh, the Packers could release Josh Jacobs next season and take on a dead cap of only $9.4 million. So 
it kind of looks like a one-year contract if he doesn't work out. And I think Josh Jacobs certainly is going to work out. Once again, I, I watched a lot of bad Raiders games last season in the first half of the year. The whole team was dysfunctional. The whole offense was dysfunctional. Like they didn't have a 20 point game up until like well into the season. It, it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. And even when Antonio Pierce came in, uh, they turned it around. But the thing is, Josh Jacobs was injured with a hamstring quad injury for the final you know month of the season, month plus of the season. So I really like the move. I think it's like an A minus. You know, the only contingency would just be his high mileage and the injury last season. But if I were to tell any Packer fan or any NFL fan, if Josh Jacobs plays like over 15 games this upcoming season and is healthy for the playoffs, this is just such a better move, even in the short term, but especially in the long term. Now, one big thing for Green Bay is kind of our, you know, inexperience. And, you know, even Jordan Love aside, who threw for 32 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, over 4,000 yards, a quarterback rating of 96.1, I can understand, you know, how young our wide receiver room and how young Jordan Love is and, you know, little inexperience. Like, I understand it. Uh, but one other issue people have with the Green Bay Packers is Jeff Halfley coming on over from Boston College. Uh, he does have NFL experience with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Cleveland Browns, the San Francisco 49ers. Green Bay, in my opinion, maybe outside of Joe Barry, although I liked the idea, I liked the concept of Joe Barry at first, uh, I, I do really like this. And one big thing is you have guys like Richard Sherman just preaching nonstop love and nonstop praise about our new defensive coordinator. He said this quote, I think half is a great coach that focuses on the details, always has a great plan and adjustments. And one other thing we know about him defensively is his safety usage. And you picked up McKinney and the dude's a stud. You know, he was playing on a horrible Giants defense. He put together his best season ever. He averaged only or sorry, allowed only an average passer rating of just 69.8 when targeted. He had three interceptions. He had 11 passes defended. Um, in my opinion, Xavier McKinney is a star in the making. And, uh, you know, we're going to pair him up with Alexander. We're going to pair him up with Quay Walker, Rashawn Gary, Kenny Clark, uh, Lucas Van Ness, Preston Smith, even like the Packers defense on paper is loaded. And even last season, statistically, they still finished as the 10th best defense. You know, as we know, with that personnel and as that roster looks on paper, the Green Bay Packers are more closer to a top five defense than they are a top 10 defense, in my opinion. And if Jeff Halfley can unlock it like we know it can be unlocked and it like we know it should have been unlocked in the previous tenure of Joe Barry, uh, you should watch out for the Green Bay Packers. I do think they're one of the better teams in the NFC. I get it. We're inexperienced, unproven. Uh, but the second half after being three and six, making the playoffs and routing the Dallas Cowboys, like that should be noted. And uh, I'd watch out for Green Bay, even though I'm a biased Packers fan. That's it for me. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. But let me know your free agency grade for Green Bay thus far. I'm going A. I'm going A. Peace.